Hello again friends, Mr. Anderson336 here, and we are gonna, we are in another replay. We are in a platoon, where the LC AMX, two of them, and we have our platoon mate, Hungary Soul. You have seen him before? Well, yeah, you have seen him before. We are at Himmelsdorf, and uh, it's not my ex exactly my favorite map for scouting, but um, I can work with it. I like city maps. I like city maps a lot because I'm a heavy driver. I mostly like to drive heavies. <clears throat> so I have good experiences with this map. So, uh, ELC AMX, YOLO Scout. Five, ton five tons of fun. And the cable will gun on it too. Uh, and a lot of tier 5s and tier 6s. And some tier fours. The smash rating is not fair for any of these guys I mean, that's shooting on me. It, it, oh. It's an ELC AMX. What, could, <laughs> what more is there to say? Um, so we managed to get a shot of this guy, and um, well. Not much actually is going on out here, but uh, well, a combinator is crew. Uh, combinator, yeah, it's a combinator is bouncing on me, on my 12 millimeters of armor. And uh, well, Soul is just on the rampage. He is not stopping. You should never, in my opinion, you should never stop in a light tank. Anyway, <laughs> um, and that's kill number two for uh, Soul. Yep. If anyone can drive an ELC AMX, it's, it's him. Well, between us, he 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 knows he, he knows his ELC AMX. What mission? I was talking about a mission here. I, I can't even remember it. I think you're no, maybe. Uh, I think I needed to spot four before they uh, spotted me, but on a city map, yeah. And I'm way too aggressive. I'm not a well, there's aggressive or uh, aggressive or active, uh, active scouting. I'm more like I'm the aggressive type. Uh, I don't like to sit in a bush and camp. Uh, that's not why I'm playing games. I'm playing games to have fun, and it's well, it is fun to, with some things to camp, artillery, because that's what they can. Uh, and that's well, you, if you're going into an artillery match and you think you're gonna do. Uh, Hell of a lot of driving. You well, you're wrong. Doesn't matter. So um, well, as I said, Soul is on a rampage. He is taking three kills already, and uh, I'm going to try to take some shot. Well, I was trying to take some shot, but well, couldn't hit, really hit him. I get shot from the hill by an M6. He only hits my tracks. The reason I'm not detracted is I have torsion bars in my uh, ELC AMX, so I have I have so much stronger uh, suspension. I can drive as crazy as I want. It is giving some disadvantages though with the gun and all of that stuff. But well, <laughs> well, why not? So um, I see one heavy here. He misses his shot. Uh, I'm not gonna to miss it this range. This is how you drive with the ELC. Get as close as possible, in my opinion. And just, yeah. Well, he actually managed to hit me. Uh, I don't know if he can hit me anymore. But he shoots for he, he shoots for uh, so. So um, well, they implemented a patch where you could start drifting with this tank. And um, no spoiler, but <laughs> this is one of the. Perks with the uh, Himmelstorf, uh, I think this uh, type of uh, ground we're driving on. Uh, real life, this is not good. <laughs> Fuck it. Just watch this. <laughs> we just take the tr tracks off him while we're drifting. And he shouldn't be able. Nope, he's not able to hit us. This is just. This is just. No, I can't stand this. It's it's two of the two of the most fun tanks. No, no. Oh, poor KV2. 
Four kills for Seoul, one for me. GG, well played. And that's pretty much it. Okay, so we got a Master Class 2 for that game, together with a Firefly Effect and a Bruiser Medal. We earned 28,000 and got 1,000 experience. We did 1,334 damage. We got one kill and 60, 60, 697 experience. Uh, Soul got 980 damage and four kills. 900 experience, round about there. We fired eight shot hits, seven penetrated six. And we drove 2.67 kilometers. We fired on five different vehicles where we destroyed one. We spotted two vehicles and we uh, assisted in doing 59. Uh, we earned 23,000 after repairs and uh, resupply of ammunition. And that's pretty much it for that game. Hello again, friends. Mr. Anderson336 here. I'm in my ELC AMX. I'm in a platoon with Spitfire. He is in his artillery, the S-51, CS-7 Russian artillery, is capable of having a 203mm gun with 1750, no, 1850 damage. The accuracy sucks, the aiming time sucks, doesn't matter. And then you start, we start complaining, uh, someone asked for the wind chance, and the one, that's one of the pain, things and that I'm not very happy with, because it's so... It's destroying so much morale. He could say 10%, uh, well, we wouldn't have a big chance. It's not zero, but it's not a big chance of winning, and that's... Oh, that's... I don't like that. So keep the numbers to yourself, I don't care. Um, but it's so... It's destroying so much morale, it doesn't matter. Anyway, when you manage to spot a stuck, and... Uh, I'm quite sure he has seen me, so I'm gonna move. Gonna spot some heavies if they come this way. See if we can spot some heavies. This is Dukas getting uh, taken out. And we have spotted the heavy, but he has spotted me too. That's not good. He managed to miss his shot, and uh, I'll take the hint and get away before he gets more, he gets more chance to shoot me. That was the... yeah. Well, what tank was that? Mm, could be a KV-85, could be the M6. They are no KV-85, so it was the M6. Okay, no matter what. So we are a scout tank with under 200 HP left. And uh, I don't want to go around the heavies. I want to see if I can find me some artillery. So what's the best place to uh, go? We have our artillery. Obviously, we're not gonna shoot them. So, um, we're gonna go over their artillery. In their base, of course. And uh, how we're gonna get there is. We're just going for it. We're not tr gonna try to be sneaky or anything. The ELC is quite sneaky, but we're not gonna try to stay in bushes and we're just going to go for it. See if we can get to their base without getting killed. It will just be the main objective here. But, well, the ELC is so fast and so small and so maneuverable, so it, it's not very likely I'm going to get spotted by anything. There is a lot of tanks left, but, you know, let's go for it. Okay, an E25 just drowned. What are we? Are we on uh, Arctic region, Perk? Derp. The Arctic region. And we're just taking a little dance with here with a stick. I don't want to get shot by him. And uh, he obviously don't want to get shot by me. I think that was the guy in the start we spotted. So uh, we have met him each other before. And uh, this was just getting annoying. But finally I managed to take him out. So um, if their team paid attention to the map, they would see there is a uh, ELC a mix directly on uh, the cause of their base. Uh, I don't know if I should say... Well, luckily for me, there was no one paying attention, and uh, unfortunately for them. We are loading an HE shell. It is artillery we are trying to take out, so... Um, 
Yeah, they shouldn't have that much armor. Well, the one one of them is French, so he's not having any armor. The M44, well, you should also be able to kill him, one shot him. <clears throat> but, um, oh, it's a we found yet. Well, we managed to find one, and uh, he's a one shot. Sorry to sir, um, yeah. Well, I don't want to offend anyone, so I'm not going to say anything. I'm going to say sorry. Well, he should, because he's in Surrey, but, well. And then we have a Hellcat who's not paying attention to the map. And he's not having much armor, so um, here you go. <laughs> I'm just gonna point out this tank is having uh, 240 average damage, and I'm rolled for almost 360. <laughs> Could only be better if it was 420. I know. 420. Um, one artillery left. We haven't found him. He's not in that part of the base, so maybe he's on the other side here. And, um... No? Maybe? Oh, well, we've managed to find him. And he actually is paying attention to the map. And he has a star on his gun, so he, sh he, he knows how to shoot. Unfortunately, the ELC is too many mobile, so he gets taken out. I paid attention to the map, so I saw the M6 on the uh, the dot before he got spotted again. And I'm here, when me and Spit and I was talking, I'm just uh, almost shouting to him, Shoot the fucking M6! I don't want to get... I don't want to play with him, I don't have HP for it anymore. So, um... There we have him, and he's gonna go for RAM. You can almost see it on him. He's gonna get, uh, he's gonna get his spaghetti. Well, I'm more maneuverable than you, sir. Sorry about that. <laughs> and the gun depression is not that good, so uh, I don't know if he can't hit me or if he just missed. But uh, I'm not gonna stay in front of his gun. I'm and then I figure out, hey, he's having even less gun depression uh, around his back, and I managed to take him out. So only a T29 left now. And uh, he's a one shot kill for me. So uh, let's see who gets who. I see him fire, but I managed to get a shot off before he kills me. So I got a third of the team. And spread fire shooting after my dead body. No matter what, let's take a look at the post game stats, guys. Tank Ace, Warrior, Duelist, Eye for an Eye, Sticker thingy, and Fire for Effect, 40,400. Uh, credits round about there and 1660 experience we did 1628 damage got five kills and 1112 base experience we earned 40,000 uh, three of those thousand went to repairing and 1000 went to uh, uh, resupply of ammunition and that leaves us with uh, 36,000 after um, yeah after Maintenance of the vehicle. He fired seven shots, hit seven shots, penetrated seven shots. We did 1600 damage with those seven shots. We received two hits and they both penetrated. We spotted seven vehicles. Five of the seven vehicles we damaged, uh, we killed, and six of them we damaged. Uh, we helped the team doing 680 damage around about there and we drove 3.73 kilometers. So I want to say thanks for watching guys and have a nice day out there and hope to see you again sooner or later on my channel. Remember there is a subscribe button and leave the like if you want to support me. It helps me out a lot.